Hi, I'm Ed Sperling. I'm the Editorial Director of Semiconductor Manufacturing and Design. I'm here with Mike Noonan, the Executive Vice President of Global Foundries. Mike, when you look out at the challenges and, and the incredible complexity that's out there, what keeps you awake at night? Well, Ed, uh, when I think about you know, what keeps me up at night, it isn't anxiety, but you know, perhaps you know, more adrenaline. Uh, as uh, you know, Global Foundries and, uh, and the semiconductor business uh, is you know, at the you know, probably one of the most interesting periods uh, that we've had in, in many, many years. Uh, as our industry is growing uh, you know, to well over you know, $300 billion and, and becoming more and more either a fabless or fab light, you know, the role of a foundry, you know, a pure play foundry like Global Foundries you know, is uh, uh, more important than ever, but not in the same way that it's been perhaps you know, for the past couple decades. Uh, and so you know, the excitement and the, you know, the adrenaline rush you know, that, that we get in terms of how can we help our customers you know, move forward and really transform that relationship between the fabless and fab light to, uh, with, with foundries uh, and address the needs of uh, not only uh, our customers, but our customers' customers and make the most of the, uh, the technology we're investing in you know, so that they're able to do even more innovative things and make money. You know, that's exciting. It's a challenge. Uh, uh, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Uh, but that's uh, what keeps me up at night and, uh, uh, and active during the day. One of the ideas behind the common platform of which Global Foundries was, was a part is that it was a bunch of companies that would contribute to primary research, really jump in and, and provide the resources early on. This, this same kind of thing, is it happening with your customers? Are they really putting skin into the game? So uh, yeah, as this business so it gets more complex and it, uh, and it really is you know, the most complex you know, business in the history of humankind, uh, you know, any one company really you know, doesn't have uh, both the wherewithal or you know, the, you know, perhaps so, uh, you know, monopoly on, on, on smart people you know, to, uh, uh, you know, to make uh, you know, the advances you know, that are, are needed and, uh, and the breakthroughs uh, that are, are required. And so uh, you know, the, you know, the common platform uh, and you know, the working relationship that we have with IBM, for example, you know, really is that you know, right combination uh, to bring the best and the brightest to it, you know, not only from an R standpoint, but from the D development and moving to manufacturing. And our customers, you know, I think, view that you know, uh, as being very valuable. Uh, and, our, and more and more, you know, with the uh, you know, select customers, you know, looking to you know, engage with us earlier, and particularly as we start to uh, you know, plan out to, uh, what goes on beyond uh, uh, you know, 28 nan nanometer bulk. And a good example of that is uh, what, you know, what we recently announced with uh, ST Microelectronics and uh, working with them on uh, a fully depleted SOI. And you know, now you're taking a, a, a perhaps a, a bold step, uh, but an exciting one, you know, to provide you know, uh, uh, more performance you know, with uh, you know, a, a platform that's going to enable a uh, you know, much lower uh, power operation uh, and still you know, very, very you know, cost effective without having to go all the way to, to 20 nanometer and, and all of the uh, you know, additional and extra and, and, uh, and you know, that usually means expensive you know, process steps uh, that uh, you know, uh, people are you know, uh, kind of you know, wondering how that they're going to make that uh, you know, be you know, cost effective and, and feasible. So that's just one example of that you know, collaborative uh, uh, you know, R&D you know, resulting into you know, a, a very innovative you know, strategy uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that our customers and, and their customers are going to benefit from. You know, there's two thinkings in terms of uh, who's going to participate at the most advanced nodes. One is that it will be fewer and fewer companies. The other is that when we start getting into stack die, almost everybody has a stake in this. Where do you see it going? Well, that's where it becomes so, uh, a lot of fun because, you know, this has always been high stakes poker. Uh, but now, now you know, with you know, the advent of you know, 2.5 and 3D packaging, you know, what we you know, add into is, is another variable and, uh, and perhaps you know, a, a different, uh, a different uh, type, of, uh, type of poker, uh, uh, but you know, uh, an added dimension that you know, I think you know, gives you know, designers and, uh, and technologists you know, more degrees of freedom to find the right solution. And so you know, rather than just looking at you know, process scaling as the way to drive both cost and functionality and performance, you know, you know, now you can look at you know, the system and package uh, to solve a problem in a much more you know, perhaps you know, straightforward way. And again, you know, engineering is that uh, intersection of, of science and business uh, and, you know, and having you know, the, uh, you know, the 
most uh, advanced uh, you know, process node, uh, you know, just for the sake of having the most advanced process node, you know, doesn't necessarily you know, yield uh, you know, what uh, you know, uh, customers are, are needing or people want to design in. But when you combine you know, uh, process advances with packaging advances and you know, uh, more degrees of freedom and perhaps you know, creativity from uh, an overall system or the transfer function, then you end up with you know, something that is uh, uh, you know, uh, going to be you know, not only uh, uh, you know, viewed as uh, solving a problem, uh, but maybe even opening up uh, uh, you know, markets that weren't possible before. And a good example of that is you know, in the area of you know, cloud computing uh, uh, and you know, being able to drive you know, processor density and solving you know, what becomes now the more of the critical bandwidth of you know, just basically getting data on and off a chip. You know, and if you can start to put uh, uh, you know, large you know, and, and huge amounts of, ca of cash you know, with uh, uh, you know, wide I.O. and, uh, uh, and you know, hyper memory cube uh, type of architectures, now you've, you've taken you know, server performance you know, to a whole nother uh, uh, you know, level uh, and, uh, and really you know, combine you know, in one way you know, uh, Moore's law <coughs> with uh, uh, you know, more than more, in this case so, uh, you know, from a, a memory and a, and a, and a packing, packaging innovation. But in another sense, so uh, you know, and people think you know, you know, uh, more than more, you know, it means you know, uh, other types of devices and functionality, and that you know, becomes a, a, you know, a possibility as well with you know, integrated you know, voltage regulation and a lot more intelligence so, uh, you know, to, to manage uh, both performance and power. Uh, and you know, almost every uh, end application you know, is uh, on an, uh, an, an, a constant search you know, to get more performance, but do it with uh, less and less power, you know, whether it be you know, electric vehicles or you know, uh, mobile phones. You know, and so you know, the, the, a, uh, a provider you know, like Global Foundries with a strong ecosystem you know, that can bring in you know, not only the process so innovation, you know, the, uh, uh, the front end manufacturing, but the innovation when it comes to test and assembly, you know, we think you know, it becomes you know, a great deal of combination uh, for innovation for uh, many years to come. The cloud certainly has the price elasticity of an enterprise buy because you're dealing with sometimes multi-million dollar servers. But the volume still is sitting down in the mobile space. When do you see the mobile space adopting the 2.5D, 3D versus just the enterprise where they are willing to pay for the, the new technology? Yep. Uh, gr you know, great question, and uh, it, it makes me uh, you know, think back to you know the – you know, the early days of, of modems, and, uh, and to a great degree, you know, the, the heart of you know, a lot of mobile phones is a modem. Uh, but, you know, the, the old days of, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know 28.8 uh, you know, baud modems and uh, you know, V32, those were actually, you know, system and package where there was multiple die inside each one of those, you know, single chips. And so, you know, the, the concept of, you know, uh, being able to combine functionality and make it easy uh, to instantiate or be able to put into a, uh, into you know, a device, and particularly as a handheld device, and or you know one that uh, you know you, you want to slip in your pocket, and uh, uh, and uh, and also you know not only be you know uh, you know, light to carry, but to, uh, uh, but to very robust to, uh, because you're going to drop it. Well, you know, that type of uh, of packaging actually you know makes that much easier, uh, uh, and so. Uh, we, you know, we're already starting to see you know, uh, modules you know, be, uh, being a, a big part of, of making it easier for uh, a mobile device vendor uh, to uh, deliver functionality. Uh, uh, you know, it makes uh, the RF uh, and uh, FCC uh, certification that much easier. And then moving forward, you know, then you'll be able to move into these more advanced you know, packaging uh, uh, options uh, uh, that are still yet cost effective. Uh, but uh, but give uh, you know, uh, that uh, access to uh, you know, fast memory, uh, which you know, uh, if you look at it, you know, also has a potential to reduce overall systems cost because then you can get get away from you know very expensive you know either you know uh, uh, more expensive flash or RS RAM, so all these become trade offs. So uh, uh, but uh, uh, you know, history has a tendency to repeat itself, and you know, there's you know, very th few concepts that are brand new. Uh, so the the concept of you know putting multiple die into a package. You know, it's been around a long time, uh, but now you know we've uh, you know just updated it to uh, you know for uh, for this millennium. So what you're saying is that the entire ecosystem has to move forward, not just individual companies, right? We think that uh, a, a strong company has strong partnerships, you know, both with customers as well as you know with other members of the ecosystem, uh, and you know, uh, this uh, uh, you know, business is you know, uh, uh, you know really requires. 
you know, the, the collaboration of EDA vendors, you know, with, you know, foundries, with their, you know, test and assembly, uh, with uh, IP vendors. Uh, and uh, we think, you know, uh, our customers are better served when we can help, you know, facilitate that and make it, you know, easier for them, you know, to get to market and get to, uh, you know, to prototype and get to revenue uh, by making it, to, uh, you know, uh, easy to put, you know, those things that, you know, basically get the job done and get it, ju get it done well, you know, make it easier to put those together. You know, uh, and at uh, the end of the day, you know, the, the biggest challenge in almost anything in high tech is the systems integration. You know, uh, and that becomes, you know, something that, uh, you know, that we can uh, help facilitate and uh, uh, you know, uh, start to you know, uh, understand the impact early on uh, uh, because, you know, it gets back to, you know, uh, you know, those FinFETs or whatever that architecture is has Im big implications on, you know, place and route to a methodology, you know, design for manufacturability. And so it's really having that insight, you know, uh, all the way back to, you know, the transistor physics, uh, but uh, the foresight into, you know, the understanding of end application. Uh, and when you can put together, you know, uh, your people who are uh, aligned, you know, to solve the problem uh, and aligned from a commercial standpoint, uh, you end up with a, a pretty powerful uh, combination, and, and that's what uh, you know, Global Foundries is, uh, is very much all about. Um, one of the interesting things about 3D, is, uh, 2.5D or 3D, is the fact that the package is now an integral part of the design. Where does Global Foundries fit into that in terms of do you guys start taking on the packaging piece of this that you didn't in the past? So uh, we've always you know, been involved in, you know, in some aspect of, of the packaging and you know, uh, you know, uh, bump you know, being uh, uh, you know, just one example. Uh, but uh, uh, we've uh, also at the same time been very committed you know, to uh, making sure that you know, we're enabling our, our customers to have choices. And, uh, uh, and you know, a good example of that is a recent announcement that we made uh, uh, with respect to you know, bringing in uh, both tooling and, uh, uh, and some of the early relationships with, uh, with third parties to enable our own you know, uh, 3D capabilities uh, uh, out of our uh, New York uh, Malta facility. And uh, Amcor being a, a good example of uh, a company that we're going to be working with uh, you know, to, uh, to enable you know, 3D packaging and, uh, and particularly uh, 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 starting at, uh, uh, at 20 nanometers. So uh, uh, we're uh, you know, very eager uh, to, uh, to build this ecosystem very eager to, uh, uh, to engage uh, uh, aggressively uh, with other you know, leading companies uh, uh, as well as uh, uh, you know, early customer adopters uh, so that uh, uh, you know, we you know, figure out you know, both the, the need and the solution so it's there when, uh, when customers you know, uh, start to, uh, to need it and uh, an architect uh, with systems, uh, which you know, is, is actually already starting to happen. Mike Noonan, thank you very much for your time. Uh, my pleasure. Appreciate it.